Words cannot describe how happy I am to realize that brands like Razer are finally listening to us. They realize that we don't want to sit in racing chairs. I've never raced a day in my life, except for that one channel super fun video. We're checking out the Razer Fujin Pro, which is Razer's first kind of foray into the ergo chair gaming market. Practice good knife safety. Cut away from yourself. Why do I not have a jury rig everything knife, Bell? So there are two variants of this chair. There's the regular model and the pro model, and we have the pro model today. Ooh, they sent gloves. I believe they did this with the last chair that they sent us, which is honestly appreciated. This is a heavy chair and may require backup. It is strongly recommended that two people assemble this chair, so ask a buddy to help. What if I don't have a buddy? Builder's gauntlets, plus 10 hand protection. Caution, do not use with magical stones of infinity. That's funny. Classic, I always love these disclaimers. I say this in every video, but these are just great. This is a very similar unboxing experience to the other chairs that we've unboxed from Razer on this channel, which isn't a bad thing. It's time to take your throne. What you're about to experience is posture perfect hardcore gaming. One of the differences between the Fujin and the Fujin Pro, which is what we're unboxing here, is the aluminum alloy body. You can already see that in the armrest there. That's not nylon. And it also has 4D armrests rather than 3D, which is cool if you're looking for more customizability. The Pro also has depth adjustment for your lumbar support system, as well as height, which uh, the base model has as well. So far, I'll say that things are feeling premium. This is, this is hefty. My main point of comparison for this video is gonna be the Herman Miller Phantom chair, which I unboxed on this channel a little while ago, and I daily drive here at work at my workstation every day. But a thing to note is that the Phantom is around $800, while the Fujin Pro is about 1049, I believe. But I'm digging that already, that feels good. Mesh headrest attachment for Razer Fujin Pro. Accessories. Oh boy, more paperwork. Razer offers a five-year warranty for nylon and aluminum frame, mechanisms and moving parts, and then a one-year warranty for upholstery, mesh, foam materials, and surfaces. Uh, stickers, yo, I'm keeping these. Casters. Were there any notes about the casters? They seem pretty generic. I'm a sucker for nice casters on chairs. Perfect, so there should only be three spare screws, which is exactly what we have, so everything is here and accounted for. All right, let's take a look at these instructions. Wait, it says to tell you about our sponsor? Power Color. Thanks to Power Color for sponsoring today's video. Their Red Devil RX 7900 series of GPUs are optimized for 4K gaming performance, are quiet and cool during long gaming sessions, and can be customized with Power Colors Devil Skin Swappable Backplates. Choose between two designs for your 7900 Red Devil. There's the mesh pattern generative Devil Skin, or the sleek and smooth intrusive Devil Skin. Due to the hassle-free magnetic design, these bad boys are easy to install, and they're available worldwide. So check out Power Colors customizable GPU backplates at the link in the video description. They're telling me to build on foam. We're not gonna build on the foam. We're just gonna build on the floor, you know? It's okay, oh, carpet, I got a carpet. First, we install the casters. Remember, you're supposed to have a buddy building the chair with you, but I don't have a buddy. So, we're gonna build this solo. We're gonna break all the rules. I gotta loosen these four bolts here, as per the instructions. This hand tool isn't complete garbage, which I appreciate, and I can use it like this too. That's actually very nice, thank you, Razor. Oh, this is probably the part where they want you to have a buddy. Oh my gosh, that's hefty. It's gotta be so nice watching videos rather than making videos because you watch the chair get built in like 10 seconds, but it actually takes an hour and a half. How in the... <laughs> nope! <laughs> I am doing the nobody's approach. Hard mode. Hard mode. Oh, it's got the serial number. Probably for your warranty. That's cool, it's just attached to the chair. I think we did it. Oh, okay. Next. I like that they're pre-installed. Makes it so you don't have to fumble around. It's just loosen them, attach, tighten. Makes it easy. You just need to read the instructions. Like the lever to adjust your armrest is so alloyed. A little bit of lefty-loosey, now righty-tighty. Slots right in. We get our screws, put them in, and we're done. We drop this guy right onto it. All right, that was easy. Is that literally it? I think that's it. Perfect. I didn't need any friends at all. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> no, I got this, don't worry. 
Imagine if I break it. Holy sh <laughs> This isn't how you're supposed to build the chair. Razor gave good instructions, I just didn't follow them. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, that'll buff out. That will not buff out. I got a few scratches in this that's just from me wrestling with it on the floor. You probably shouldn't build the chair upside down from how it's supposed to be built. So keep that in mind. Step 10 confused me a little bit because I undid the screw and this part didn't naturally just come apart. But you pull it out, it hooks on, you screw it back in and that's how to fix it to the back of the chair. Good news about the damage that I did to the chair is that it's gonna be covered. I intended that to be the plan from the start. You can control how easy it is to adjust the headrest by turning the screw a bit. I loosened it because I wasn't sure what it was at first. Essentially, you can lock the headrest in place by just tightening the screw there. The first thing I immediately notice is that razor, they, they resisted. They didn't just paint this thing in green from head to toe. This is something understated that I would actually daily drive. No offense, I like green, I just don't like it all over all of my products all the time. One of the big complaints that Linus had with the Herman Miller Vantum is that when you sat on it, you basically could feel the frame pressing against your butt. You don't have that here. This mesh is more taut. Um, you just feel the mesh. There's actually a significant amount of distance between my butt and the bottom. Okay, we're gonna test these casters out always. Casters are fine. Nothing to write home about, negative or positive. As I was saying when I was building the chair, the frame itself is very, very premium feeling, which is good. The armrests, Soft, uh, honestly softer than the Vantam, I believe. Four dimensional adjustments. Um, one thing I do like about the Vantam is it's got more, what is it called, Champ chamfered? Ch ch chom chamfered edges. So basically what it means is the armrest, it kind of slants down a little bit gradually. So it makes it easier if you're kind of controller gaming. This, it's pretty, it just drops off, but that's fine. I like that the button's right there, that's nice. I don't have to lean over, where is it? Just, ah, nice. Oh, that's what it is to move the seat. Whoa! Seat forward and seat back. I like to sit back in my chairs. I don't like when the edge kind of goes right under my knees. Not comfortable. Yo, what is this? Look, he's gonna adjust these panels up and down. So there's that lumbar adjustment that you can get, which is cool. And then you turn this dial to actually push the lumbar support system in. I don't have the support of my family. I do have the support of my family. Look at that, that's great. Ah! <laughs> so you can't just flip the tab and have it spring you off the chair. I actually kind of like that. So if you want to adjust, it seems like you have to push back for it to kind of unlock and that resets. That's cool, I like that. And we have tension adjustment down here. Turn this, this way for tightening and this way for loosening. I like it. I think I, need a, I think I need to compare it to the chair that I sit in every single day though. This is actually the Logitech edition of the Herman Miller Vantam chair, which we covered on Short Circuit a while back. Like I said, I think I broke the headrest. Yeah, I completely just destroyed that. This is an example of some of the issues that you can run into when your chair is built from something like a nylon, whereas the Razer Fujin Pro, part of what you're paying for is this, this upgrade in the material, right? So even with this mechanism, I don't know how I could break the headrest in the same way that I did on the other chair. I mean, all of your adjustment points are made with the aluminum alloy, which is just gonna be better, honestly. When I did the video on the Vantam, I didn't really agree with the feedback that Linus was providing, where when you sit in the base of the chair, your butt hits the frame. But now that I've sat in this chair for six months straight every day, I understand what he was talking about. So I'm gonna do some bum drops on this. It's hard for me to convey the success of the bum drop test, but I can definitely feel the bottom of this chair. Whereas when I bum drop onto this chair, I definitely don't feel the base of the chair and I feel supported, which is what I need. Another big thing that I'm not a fan of with the Vantam is its lumbar support system. It's just kind of finicky and it adjusts all over the place and there's not a lot of adjustability with it from playing with it. I know there's different things that you can do, but that's kind of what appeals to me about this chair. And granted, I haven't sat in this thing every day for six months, but you can adjust it in very easy, adjust it up or down depending on your height and weight. Uh, depending on how you fit into the chair. That's another thing to note, is that this chair is rated for up to 300 pounds, I believe, where the Vantam is for up to 350. So while this chair is technically rated for more weight, 
I feel like this chair just offers you a little bit more flexibility. If you're a little bit wider, you just prefer more space to kind of move in your chair. While I'm hyping up the Razer Fujin Pro, it is worth noting that this chair is about $250, give or take, more than this chair. So just keep that in mind. With the Fujin Pro, there is the base Fujin model, which would be cheaper than the Vantam, but you don't get a headrest and you'd have to pay to get the headrest. So it's all kind of depends on what your price point is and what you're looking for. I will say my word of advice from having sat on so many different chairs and purchasing many chairs for myself at home is that you don't want to cheap out on a chair. I have done that. If you go to my Intel home upgrade on Linus Tech Tips, I paid like $150 for an Amazon Basics chair. It is terrible. It's completely ruined. I had to get another chair that I also cheaped out on and it's also ruined. I could have just bought one nice chair and would have been good. So something to think about. This wouldn't be a Razer unboxing if I didn't game it, okay? So we're gonna have a gaming test. We're gonna invite a few other people over to check it out and we'll go from there. Game in, Counter-Strike 2. Counter-Strike go to? Counter <laughs> we're playing the new Counter-Strike. I gotta switch between my weapons really quick and then I gotta jump a lot. That's how you know you're good in this game. I might actually adjust the lumbar to be a little bit more in, which I can do from sitting here, which is nice. Beautiful, can I move it up from sitting here? Oh, I probably wouldn't do it. Yeah, you need both hands, both hands. Boop. Oh, that's so nice. I like it. This is nice. I would buy this chair. Cool, we should get some other people's thoughts. Who else likes sitting? At my workstation, I have an Embody chair, and then at home, I have an Aeron or a Amira. I don't know the difference, but I have one of them. So I sit in a lot of Herman Millers, and I gotta say, this is pretty comfortable. I sit cross-legged a lot mm. uh, when I when I game. I do like a one foot. Under. Oh, I do that too. I do that too. And yep. I pull up. This is pretty comfortable. Here, hold on. Let me help you out, dude. Oh, oh. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. And then if you want it up, I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me actually do this first. You can go up. You can do whatever you want. You know, it's it's your it's your chair, dude. Go wild. Heck Get crazy. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love a game. Man. I just like that more companies are doing ergo chairs. Hey, I just, it, this is nice to look at. It's easy on the eyes, not paint completely in green. It's just, it's just subtle. It's subtle, comfy, breathable, it's good. So that's it for the Razer Fujin Pro. Like I said earlier, I really like it. This is something I would actually spend my hard earned money on. And you know, maybe, uh, maybe you wanna look into it, you know? So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, get subscribed. Check out some of the other chair videos that I've done on Short Circuit. And I'll see you on the next one.